Hello, it's Tyson Carter here from IMT. I'm the manager of client education and communications, and I'm here to talk about a question that I get asked a lot, and that is how do I work with potential duplicate tasks? So let's talk a little bit about potential duplicates. Lots of organizations find that duplicate records end up getting created. Duplicates can come from different reasons. Uh, sometimes uh, it's been a while since someone visited a hospital and so registration staff didn't realize that they were already there. Um, sometimes people's names change. They've been married or divorced and so uh, the data that they presented with may not have been exactly what was in the system. Other times it's just simply an accident. Someone forgot to check to see if that patient was already known and a new record was created. Still, other organizations have what's called a quick registration, where if you present at the emergency room, they just create a brand new record every time and then they reconcile that later. But when we have duplicates, typically the goal is to merge those together into one. And by merging those together into one, we have a cleaner set of data to work with. Now, there are some different ways to resolve potential duplicates. The first way to resolve a potential duplicate is to simply link them. Another workflow is to merge those records together. Often this is done in the source system itself. MDM can also do a merger, but most times mergers are done from the source itself. And then the third possibility is to say, no, these aren't actually the same person. Maybe they're brothers or twins, etc. So let's take a look at the real interface and see some examples. Here we are in Inspector. Let's take a look at Patricia Franson's task. Here we see two records. There's Patricia Franson and Patty Framson. We see that there is some incomplete data. Sometimes the data just doesn't tell us enough. We do see some alignment on social security number, gender, and date of birth. We can also confirm that down here by having the system highlight what's in agreement or what is in disagreement. So in this case, when we look at the data, Framson versus Franson is more likely a typo when we look at the alignment of other things like social security number, date of birth, and gender. So one option is to simply link these two records. If we wanted to link these two records, um, I would look at which enterprise ID is typically the lowest or the record that has better data, and I would drag up the record to join it. In this case, both records have a task, so I do want to resolve both of them. If there were more than two, I could come up to the little pencil and I could apply a resolve state to all of the records if necessary. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and save the task. Now that's just a straight link. There are other times where what we need to do is merge. Here we see the example of Ashley Bombard, and we see that there are two records, both from source B. One has her name a bit misspelled and a bit misaligned, maybe they were working from a paper form, but the date of birth and the address and the phone number and the gender look, look right. With a merge, there's two ways to do a merge. One way is just to have it merge at the source. So if the source were to merge it, we would receive that merge and this task would just go away. The other way that we could merge it is by issuing what's called a pre-merge. When I do a pre-merge, I'm going to take this record and I'm going to drag it to the other record from source B. You'll see that the screen turns yellow. Because there's a little task icon there, that's an indicator that there is another task. So I do want to resolve that so that it takes all of those tasks away. That red X would unmerge. So it'll reset the task back to what it had originally been and save. Now, this is going to do a pre-merge. So a pre-merge, which is a little bit different than a regular merge. 
Here I've brought up the same three records, and I simply just searched for these by their source ID. You'll notice that the last record, which was the one that we merged away, it has some additional icons here. We have the ability to commit the merge or to cancel the merge. So what we can do is commit the merge. If I go ahead and commit the merge, it says, are you sure? I say yes. And now it has actually merged these records together. I see that the survivor has an indicator and that the Bombard Ashley record is now considered obsolete. Had the merge come directly from the source, I would not have had to commit the merge. It would have just automatically committed. From here, the next example we're gonna take a look at is one in which we have records that can just stay alone. Here's another example of a potential duplicate task. However, in this case, what we see is that these do not appear to be the same person. When we look at the social security numbers, we look at the names, although they share a date of birth, this appears to be a set of twins. Now, we could do further research to help make sure that that is the case. So let's just assume that yes, they are different people. And in this case, we would simply come up here, set the status to resolved, and apply to all records, and then save. So instead of dragging and dropping the records, we leave them where they are. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope that this session has helped you learn how to work with potential duplicate tasks.